Okay, um, I found this. It's a, let me go show you a bit closer. It's a, um, it's a brooch. But I was thinking you could do a partial face um, and get just this bit in. Don't have to get the forehead, but just get this bit in. So I'm going to try that. Um, I've not really got that much left. So however, however it goes over it, it's going to be fine. And it should... Um, Yeah, so we're just going to do that. Okay, so again, take, let's see, I'm just going to take those two, and these make really good containers. I've been, um, so nothing goes through. Um, let me see this piece. See, I'm not sure if you use too much of the white one, whether it would still set so see this is beginning to set um, just take that bit off I'm going to use just a bit more of this mix them together and see how we get on whether we'll still whether it will still set. I think it should do because um, that's what I found when you expose them to air. So I'm going to mix the rest of that with it. Don't know what's going to happen. Okay, give it a good mix. I think this is the, the bit that makes it set the blue. So I'm not sure that it might be that we don't have enough of the blue, but let's just see. Yeah, the containers they come in make really good storage containers. I've been using them for beads. Okay, so I'm going to get this ready. I've got, I don't know why I didn't bring this out in the first place. So this is hard now. And I'll just be peeling that off. Um, I got this cheap at the, um, where was it now? I think it was in... Caribbean actually it cost about a few dollars a pound but it turns okay so we're just gonna just gonna put it to approximately the the shape that this is and then I'm just gonna press it down and just make sure it's connecting with the features well and then we're just going to leave it and see how it gets on Okay, so we do. And I'll just let that set. So with this one now, we should be able to remove this and see what we have. As I say, it it um, sets really quickly and you just ease it out and see you've got all the detail from the flower just 
it those bits off because the, the bit that we're going to be using is this this bit in here so when uh, using clay um, and then what you can do with this is you can paint it whatever color you want so I don't need these anymore I can just paint them because I've now got my mold so um, I find this um, quite economical um, because once you've made your mold you can you know use it a number of times and I've made several molds out of things that I've found and I've liked and I've wanted to um, you know use them in projects and um, you know this I just got it in the children's section um, in the pound store and I can still say I can still use this um, for a different project um, okay so we're just gonna let we're just gonna wait for this and see how that dries and um, and as I say what you can do with the, the containers that they come in they're really good for uh, storing I store in mine I store my uh, um, sewing needles and now I'll be able to like especially when you're traveling um, it's really useful to have a container that you can use that's, that's not going to be so I can even use utilize this well I don't need to utilize that do I? I can get rid of that you can use this as a palette if you want to you know recycle um, when I'm painting actually we'll, we'll use those for mini palettes because because it's plastic it can be easily cleaned and then I've got my storage containers that you can um, that I'll put needles and needles and pins and um, now I've got three more or oh, seeds you know um, seed seed beads beads if you're uh, collecting collect and use a lot of beads so I have with these ones I was going to be putting away but I can now put them in here until I found a place so this is the kind of thing I would put in here is like a selection of needles some thread and some um, seeds seed beads okay so I'm glad I found another use for those let's check on this I think it will set because it's got the um, it's got this this blue the blue in it and this one's good to go so I could either make some more of these what I think I'm going to do with this and I'll show you what I would do I'm not going to paint it with the paint that it comes with I'm going to use um, what should we use right I'm just going to use some black paint so while we wait for this to dry I'm just going to cover this in some black paint and I'm going to put it on here so that it doesn't get messy so right away I can use it as a I can use it use you can use them as palettes they come in uh, two different sizes this is the large and um, the large is about is 25 pounds and the smaller one is I think it's about 15 so I'm gonna paint this black and then 
I'm going to add um, either gold or copper or silver detail to make it look um, aged in that way. Or I could have just painted it silver. But, um, and then it can be hung. I'm not sure whether it's weatherproof. I guess if you sealed it with um, some, if you seal it with some, what do you call it, some varnish or something like that. So I'm just covering it with the paint. Like so, and do the back as well. Oops. <laughs> it's doing what it needs to do, it's turning. And basically um, just let them dry. Or if you want, you can just use the paint that it comes with. I mean, but I'm not too enamoured by those colours. So I've covered it in. Alan? Yeah. Aren't you picking up Malachi? Oh. Oh. What's happening here? Definitely let it dry. Let it dry before, um, because where I'm touching seems to be it's not disintegrating but it's coming up so i'm going to do the other one and just do the top and then do the bottom once it's dry it's just cheap clay i guess I'm just getting all the, the black, just need a little bit more. Just that, because we're going to let it dry before we move on. Okay, so this has been what, about a few minutes, it's hardening up, okay, I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to put that on here, so they came in handy didn't they? I don't want to waste the paint. There, so. I've just painted the back and I'm going to put it there and allow it to dry. And I think if I don't touch it, then it should be fine. So I'm going to leave that like that. And just wipe off my hands. Got some
some wet wipes here. Um, so I'm now going to turn my attention back to, I've got some paint in there. Got some paint in there. Okay, I'm going to turn my attention back to the other mould now. Let's make sure I've got all this paint off. Okay, let's have a look. It's very soft. So, okay. I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer. Okay, so we're back now with this. And I've taken um, the mould away from the shape here. The difference between the two obviously is um, you should have used equal parts and then it becomes really stiff. This isn't as stiff as it could be, um, as you can see in terms of the difference, and this is very floppy. So I think I'll still be able to use this and um, see we can give it a go and see these are the um, here's some of the other molds that I've made with um, with the one packet um, uh, as I say it's 24 pounds for the largest size um, but you can make so many different types of molds so I've made loads of different molds um, from the one packet um, I think I've this is the second time I've brought um, the moulds. Here's what I made the last time. I made some faces, um, some face moulds. Um, but yeah, the the less. I'm just wondering even if it's still pliable. Yeah, but we're just going to use it as is. And I've got me some clay here. This is what clay. This is just air dry, air drying clay. And um, I just wanted to see if you use the mold, would it? Um, you use the mould as it is, how it would take. Just seeing which one I want to use now. Okay, this one's open. This is um, non-firing clay. <laughs> Very messy. I am um, okay. It's just the same. This is, I think, this is the das uh, clay. This one, yeah. And uh, this is the terracotta. They're both messy. I just sprayed this one, so it's just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to take. piece of the dust clay and work it up in my hands. As you see the terracotta you're going to get the mixture on your hands. And uh, it is a bit messy. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, in terms of um, when I'm doing or using clay to to usually try and make all the things you want to do 
and then let them dry so you're just you know if you're going to spend a day with clay do that okay if I'd have okay so I'm just let's say conditioning it and then all I'm going to do is press it I'm not using the whole of the surface, I just want to do a partial. And we'll take it away just to see what we get. So we can't really use that. As you can see, it's not because it's not holding the shape, because I can press it, it's not holding the shape. Um I really can't use that. I'm might think about what other things I can use it for but let's try the other one so if I press the clay into the other one just partially I'm just gonna do not a whole part of the flower so as you can see the shape comes out quite nicely and if that was to dry so I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with this um, it's still malleable so I might be able to roll it flat and um, I've got a pasta machine so I'm thinking maybe I can roll it flat and this can be like a, um, use it like clay and see if it will over time dry or you know or it could be um, like a stencil so make a shape out of this not stencil yeah stencil make some sort of shape out of this and then I'll be able to cut it so as you see if you don't use equal parts this is what happens you know it doesn't set well, as it should what I was thinking was either either you can use a gold paint and I'll show you on one of them um, this is just a faux car acrylic it's metal metallic antique copper now I'm just gonna put that there I'm just gonna use the same container now it's just a little dab I'm gonna get my finger in there so it's a metallic color and I'm just going to just go over the edge of the flower so you can see it better. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm just going. So you've still got the black, but I'm using my finger. You could use a brush and then just go in around the edges. Now, um, the other place I want to go is just on the edge there. So you pick up and it kind of makes it look a bit metallic you know like metal even though you know it's not it's just clay so you don't want to drop it and then just around the edge so you're not um, saturating it with paint you're just colouring it slightly so that's what you can do with just like a, a metallic paint I've kind of made that look you know like it's 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 metal and then you can still you know go and hang it up as you would as you would like to um, for the other one I've got this it's uh, it's a metallic finish it gives you a um, it's called gold finger and um, again this just 
gives pieces uh, a kind of a, a metallic finish so um, a little goes quite a long way so I'm just gonna apply some of this to my fingertip you don't have to use your fingertips and then again just go in around the flowering it does a similar sort of job but as you see it's giving us quite a nice finish and then once it's dry they say buff it a bit but it's not like kind of you know saturated it in terms of wetness um, and what I'd want to do is maybe uh, with a bit of the black paint just the edges that um, just going to put a little dab in there just really need the bits where on here you can see where the black has um, when it was dry and it needed to I needed to have put it down okay so I'm just gonna go to cover up the white bits So once you let that dry, that'll be fine. Let's see on the other one. The other one's got a few bits where it can do with a little bit of the black paint. So we'll come out here. So the other one's just got tiny bits around the edges, which you know we can go over with the. Um, I'm just using my finger here. But you can um, just go over it again and just add the uh, metallic paint. If it doesn't dry properly, it just picks up the pasta. Okay, so there you have it from a you know pound store find um, to. Um, you know, some handy little ornaments that you can use or put on a, a journal. So have fun and uh, remember to keep an eye out for um, keep an eye out for things that you can utilise and use in your art and creativity um, that you can use quite easily to um, you know, do a project. And what I okay, so bye for now. See you soon.